No gain on the play there. Second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Throwing Rivers. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Deion Bush with a pick. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. For the Chicago Bears, Charles, it's kind of the dust settles on this season. How do you think that they will remember it? Because right now, the fresh wound is there with the missed field goal. We get that. But it's a pretty good season they just had. It certainly has been. Remember, they were last in the NFC North in 2018. They won the division in 2019, their first NFC North title since 2010. They acquired Khalil Mack to begin the year. And remember that, a heartbreaking loss at Green Bay on a Sunday night to open the season? A lot of teams would have gone south after that. Instead, they went 7-1 at home, won 9 of 10 to close the year. They're going to be heard from in the seasons to come. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And an alley to run. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. quickly brought down give him a couple on the carry there second and eight I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run protect the young QB actually broke that down believe it or not so how would you assess things so far I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down <laughs> I appreciate that partner but I do think they've been able to do that maybe not as effectively as they've wanted to but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB And that'll set him back five. This is Howard on second down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And they're gonna have a third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys, and that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them, and now instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. be accepted of course and that moves him back five and the delay of game penalty makes this much more difficult third and eight here's Trubisky and that is in 
incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Well, Charles, I've got to give credit to the Chargers because you finish 12-4, and second-best record in the AFC, but you find yourself in the wild-card game. You traveled across the country and play in a 10 a.m. start for them if you consider West Coast time, but they found a way to beat Baltimore. They certainly did, and they were the first team to see Lamar Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Floyd in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From the gun, Rivers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. They've had touchdowns on both of their drives thus far, but now they face a third and long. Third and long for Rivers. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Indeed going for it. It's Rivers. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Prince of Mukamara. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Bears offense now getting ready to take Bears, over. Bears, and the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goal post, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. 32 yards. And the Bears are in for six. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. 
Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Khalil Mack in there to sack him for a loss of six. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. 12, 12, 12. Q, Q, Q. Set. Run 80. Ready. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Rivers. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. A first down throw here for Rivers. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And now running right through it. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Reception. Here's Trubisky. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Hey, got to go, got to go. 18, 18. Move, move. Now Trubisky to throw on second. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Trubisky. And it is in. 
incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So first and 10 now from the 30. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. Touchdown, L.A. Tyrell Williams as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 18, 18, 18. Lock in, lock in. They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left. Looking for White on the deep ball. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky on the move to his left. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we reach halftime. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. Now Rivers, and it's complete. Henry, 20. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. A big play there for the Chargers. 49 yards. From the red zone now, Rivers. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen from 13 yards out. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catches. The fun stuff, any padding for a rocket like that? 
One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. to throw Rivers and this will be caught as they convert here for two he hits the big target for the two point try <laughs> defenses hate those guys especially around the goal line it's hard to decide who you're going to put on him are you going to put a smaller corner on him are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills how about a linebacker he may have the size but he's not used to really covering in space that's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football and now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. The screen pass here to Cohen. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Let's go, let's Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Trubisky to throw. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He lost four there, and it's third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. He did well to get him eight yards, but it's still going to mean a call to the punt team on fourth down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on